The Americans may think they have mistaken President Vladimir Putin when he was first elected in 2000. But Russians have not missed the choice since then. To the West, Russian President Vladimir Putin was a controversial politician. From the way he intervened in the world conflicts to his administration in the country, Putin was controversial. The only thing that can be agreed upon is that very few modern day leaders like Putin are so influential. He lived in the midst of the great events of the time, such as the fall of the Berlin Wall, which he held in power in Russia for three American presidents, bringing Russia back to the political arena. He forced the Western world, who thought to have won completely in the Cold War, once again fretted over Russia. When Putin arrives in Vietnam for the 2017 Happen Summit, he will be the leader who has participated in many Happen meetings. On December 31, 1999, Russia's first president, Boris Yeltsin, unexpectedly announced his abdication and handed over the power to the then Prime Minister, Vladimir Putin, the former KGB agent and little known figure of the day. Now before the era of Putin began in Russia, in just two years the Russians saw five prime ministers leave under President Yeltsin. The change of prime minister like dress shirt with Yeltsin face red face gay and go swing as a manifestation of a chaotic Russia can't not recover after the collapse of the Soviet Union. For more than 17 years, Putin has been chosen by a president chosen by Yeltsin for succession to become a convincing winner in elections and maintaining high levels of public consensus. For 17 years, the former KGB agent has become one of the leaders capable of turning the world order. Fadrid Zakaria commented that Putin understands Russia, understands us American and the world. For Americans, Americans like Putin, from former President George W. Bush to Hollywood stars. When he replaced Boris Yeltsin to enter the Kremlin, the Americans saw him as president of the future. The future of harmony, in the sense that the United States will influence Russia. I look in his eyes. I see a frank and trustworthy man, said former President Bush in 2001. That was the period when Americans thought the Cold War was over, the period when Russia was not recovering from the collapse of the Soviet Union, while American popular culture, from McDonald's to Coca-Cola, dominated Russian life. The Americans have dreamed of a similar future with President Putin, but Putin does not think so. Still, a good period in us-Russia relations lasts for a long time. After Putin's two terms of office until Dmitry Medvedev's presidency, and Putin retiring as prime minister in May 2008. In 2012, when Mitt Romney ran for president, he said Russia was a big threat to the United States. No one believes Romney and Barack Obama are elected for a second term. Only a few short years later, Putin made clear that Russia would not be in U.S. influence. In 2014, the United States and the Western world witnessed the Crimean merger into Russia, the unrest in eastern Ukraine with the rise of pro-Russian forces. By 2015, Russia's intervention in the Syrian civil war has defeated several us backed insurgents. 2014 is also the time when Russian-American leaders recognized bilateral relations to the world since the end of the Cold War. By 2017, while Russia built a bridge connecting the continent to the Crimea, the United States replaced the president. But the relationship is still bad. New President Donald Trump continues to sanction Russian sanctions. Recently, during a October meeting in Sochi, Putin said the biggest mistake of post-Soviet Russia leaders was overconfidence in the United States. Our biggest mistake is to believe you too much. You see it as a weakness and exploit. Unfortunately, our Western partners, which have divided the Soviet geopolitical legacy, 
are quite sure of their inadmissible legitimacy when claiming to be the winner in Cold War, he said. The Americans found that it turned out that Romney was right and they would judge Mr. Putin too low.